How are you feeling, Jason? I'm feeling great. <laughs> Cloudland Canyon, 50 miler. First time doing a 50 miler ultra. You ready to breathe? I am. I should have been doing it already. For this 50 morning. miles straight? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> How about you? How are you feeling, Keegan? Good? Oh, come see, come saw. I mean, superb. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This world full of suffering and violence Lord, I'm losing my will to try I find when I finally find silence I just hate my All right. See you, Mickey. See you. Good luck. You're amazing. Thank you. She took the plunge hard. Hey guys, here in the Cloudland Canyon Marathon, 50 miles. Distance, six miles. Duration, one hour, 38 minutes, eight seconds. Pace, 16 minutes, 33 seconds. First aid station, I believe. So far, it's actually way harder than I expected. And we've all been going for a couple hours. Hey guys, we're probably in about mile 12, 11 or 12. It's about uh, eight something in the morning. I don't know how we are on time, but time and uh, having a time behind me and having to stay in front of that. That's kind of stressful. I've been thinking more about how many miles and the time limit that we have than the actual applying and enjoying the moment. And when other people are around, I get a little nervous because I become competitive and then I make bad choices. I don't trust my intuition. Whether it be running through a stream or taking my shoes off, I should take my shoes off, but somebody's like, go, oh, go, just jump in, jump in. I just jumped in, but I should talk to you. This is an epic, epic view. I think that's the river that we were in the river. It must be. This is, uh, what is this? Cloudland Valley. <laughs> Cloudland Canyon. Mile 12, I found my balance. Cloudland Canyon. This is one of those epic views that we have on a morning like this, running up and down these hills, these cliffs. It's now 9.30 a.m. Been running since 6.10, probably 14 or 15 miles in. Going up a steep hill, we're down in there. It's a huge waterfall. And then we got these stairs to go up. Uh, yeah, we got a good challenge. What's cool is my number is 136, which is a specification for our Fire Seal 136 product, which is the, it's just the best product, flagship product we have. That's why we're here. Anyway, see you guys soon. Try to pass on this ah, Look at that. Keegan just passed me. 
I found my balance about 12 miles in. Had a lot of challenging thoughts in the beginning. Just uh, feeling pretty good now. Almost mile 18. A rugged uphill climb. A long way to go. Hey guys, got this little waterfall coming down this mountain. Going down across this. I'm doing it while I'm talking to you. Endurance, putting myself to the test. Just about 18 miles in. And uh, man, it's tough. This is way more rigorous, wet, and rocky than I than they made it out to seem. But it's awesome. Quite the experience. Thinking about everybody. Thinking about our future. We're all working together to build a great future. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, we're gonna do great things together. Peace. This is just awesome. Where I just came from, down there. Gotta go up all the way. Look at the ladders, all the way. Coming down this, it's all wet, slippery. Gotta find my rhythm, find my balance, my center of gravity, feel my body. Make sure I'm not leaning forward too much, back too much, not my stride on target. Rhythm and breathing, and the breathing and rhythm, everything. Check. Right here. Pretty much alone, I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'm going the right way, but yeah, I can move somebody always a little bit back behind me. That's pretty awesome. Heading up, up, up all the time. I'm told to walk the uh, uphills, and that's good advice because this is uh, that's all it is. I'm doing well. Finally up. That's where we came from. I don't know. Probably at about 19, 20 miles. Seconds. Five hours. Pace. Twelve. Forty-one minutes. minutes. Fifty-three hours, seconds. Minutes. Twenty-two miles. Rigorous terrain. Beautiful day. Pretty chilly, but awesome. Challenging myself with this at forty-seven years young, aging backwards. We're building a great future together. Here at 27 miles on that Bear Creek. Man, I just want to get that on me. Baptize myself here in this beautiful water. Wait for Keegan. There he is. This is Bear Creek. 
up to Bear Creek. Evercam strong, Lynch family strong. Love you guys. 28 miles so far. Single track trail. Keeping an okay pace. We're doing it. This won't beat us. But it's gonna take a lot of work. Hey everybody, wow, I don't even know, I think I'm almost at mile 30. Uh, this is grueling, it's taught me a lot about myself. The fact is that I don't know shit. This one's, we got a seven mile out, seven mile back. I think we're, that'll bring us almost to 40 something miles. I've been eating a lot along at the aid stations trying to run when we can, but the whole first part of this 20 miles, 25 miles of this trail race was uh, steep canyon hills. Really burned the legs and kneecaps, ankles. Just trying to figure out how to burn through all this and I can find it, but it's, um, yeah, it's uncharted territory. So, uh, but it, Definitely glad I did it. I'm just not sure that we'll finish, but I'm gonna try like fucking hell. I'm gonna have to go barefoot, drag myself as long as they don't cut me off on the time. I'll be good. Yeah, I just checked in 30 miles. That's a record for me. It's uh, five more than I've ever done. So we just finished, uh, you know, 50K. And now I got uh, another 20 miles to go. It's piece of cake. Hey guys, checking in with y'all. It's a beautiful day so far. Sun is still up, still going. Walking more than I anticipated, but this was a lot more difficult. Thinking a lot about everything. 36 miles. Still going up. Come out here. Got a lot of people coming back this way. They're way ahead of me. My legs are like jelly. I can barely move. I'm running like an old man. But I'm doing it. So, epic journey. 2020. Ever came strong. Okay. I think it's the 37, 38 miles. Keegan's doing a little investigation of his toes. His... Got a blister the size of Binghamton on uh, his left pinky toe. We're not supposed to sit, but heck, look at this view. And now we gotta go down. I don't know what's worse, coming up or coming down. So far, we're qualifying on time, but you know, we got a lot to go. So, um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's an experience. I think it's false advertising. They said it would be easier than it was. This has been just nothing but hills and hard hills and roots and rocks. And, uh, it's a great adventure. We're going to be hurting. I'm going to massage it out. Do some breathing. All right. Let's sit for a couple of minutes. Let's try and get up. Oh, if I can, I might fall down. Oh, dizziest shit. I don't know. You think people... I don't know how many are behind us, but I know there's a lot of in front of us. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah? Well, my GPS says 42 miles, but I don't think it's accurate. I think it's less than that. But it feels like more than that. Holy shit, this is uh, rugged, but we're doing okay on time. Gonna have to walk a little bit here and just uh, hit the hills down the hill running and then straight away as best we can. The sun is about to go down. We have headlamps. It's 
gonna be interesting to see how well we can find this trail in the dark, but the thing is, uh, there's nobody in front of me. They're all way ahead of me. So, we're just gonna have to use the force. All right. Last leg of the race. Got about oh, seven more miles left. Pretty dark, as you can see. Definitely a little dark. Keegan's lamp is pretty much puttered out. Our cell batteries didn't make it, even though they're brand new. You know, but not like us, the Energizer. The Energizer buddies. So we're gonna keep on making it. Another uh, hour and a half to go. Well, only less than three miles to go, so we're walking it. Up. That's what it's been like for the past nine miles, or well, six miles. So, pretty dark, dirty hills. I don't know. I got people up there. Keegan's in front of me. So, I'm finishing it up. Yeah, I guess so.